Alright people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are actually looking at a card made by my good friend Lunar. Yes, Lunar sent me a handful of cards and I was like, ah, I'll pick out a couple of them and go ahead and look at them. The most interesting ones, of course. Because some of them are just way too tame. Some of them are just like, yeah, I could see that being a card in a, 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 a random common that no one will ever play. But the really juicy, controversial one, that's the one we want to look at, of course. So this is Violent Outburst. Yeah, Violent Outburst. It is a, a quick play spell card that reads, and this one, this one's like, you gotta think about it. Just got one random card. Alright, so, um, I guess when you play this card, you go ahead and like set your hand and I guess your opponent rolls a die and I don't know, you randomly pick a card. This is, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work, but randomly pick a card. Then, you banish all monsters your opponent controls. Wow, that, that's power. That's power. Then you take 1500 damage for each monster banished this way. So, risk versus reward. Yeah, or reward versus risk, because that's very powerful, very powerful card. So being a quick play spell, being able to banish all monsters during your opponent's turn, all you, all your opponent's monsters during their turn, because it's a quick play spell. That's very powerful. It's straight up, straight up. Think of it as a banishing. Think of it as like you have like defissure, and then you regeki the all their shit's like banished, except it's during your opponent's turn. That's straight power, people. That is very powerful. That's like. You know, you thought Regeki was good, how about Regeki on your opponent's turn and their shit's banished? Like, nah, nah, fuck it being fucking destroyed and sent to the graveyard and all they get their effects. Like, nah, 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 nah. Let me go ahead and banish all of it. All of it, all of it. But, there's a risk, there's a, of course, 1500 damage. That is a lot. That is a lot. So, of course, you get some bang out of this, this, your buck when it comes to this card. You gotta play it. You gotta discard a card. So, that's neck two. So, you at least gotta banish two monsters to at least even out when it comes to resource-wise. But that's a whole 3,000 damage when you banish two monsters. And you pay, you pay. You pay, you pay, people. So, you take the damage after this card is resolved, after you banish this card. So, you can game yourself. It's not like, well, uh, you know, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't play this card because my opponent has too many monsters, so I guess I can't. You know what would be hilarious as fuck? Let's say, you know, you have... Uh, I don't even think of it. I think it would be good. Let's say you have 4,000 life points, right? You have four, half your life points. 4,000 life points. I have two monsters. You're going to go ahead and activate Violent Outburst. So you're going to banish my two monsters and then take 3,000 damage. So you have 1,000 left. It would be funny as fuck if I summon my second monster and you're like, Chain Violent Outburst. And I'm like, Chain Call the Haunted. <laughs> summon my monster, you banish three, you take fucking 45. Game. Like, yes, that's, I think that it is. You can game yourself with this card. And I think that would be hilarious as fuck. Like, motherfucker, you know. Just being able to just pop out a monster and just addition a monster just to make sure your opponent takes that extra 15 out of your speed. Fucking hilarious, but this is a powerful card. I must say, it's a powerful card. Uh, now the question is, would anybody play it? Mm. I know a deck that probably definitely plays the Romages, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that deck getting a very powerful card like this. Did any other deck? I'm just not sure. You know, uh, you know, that's a lot of life points. That really is, and you know, some decks such as Cleans and and Cosmos don't like to pay life points on just generic cards because they're so busy playing life points for their own thing cards. So, I don't know, I just, mm, it's a very powerful card, yes it is, but I had a lot of life points, and I know, I, I always say, fuck life points, it's all about resources, and this is one of the perfect opportunities, you know, if I can go ahead and pay some life points to get banished all your monsters on the field, then, yeah, let's do it, but, you know, I can't take too much, you know, and, you know, and it really does suck that you don't get to choose, you know, if you got to select how many monsters, if it was just like, you know, just call it a random card, and then you can ban you select target that many monsters up to the amount that you want. Target any number of monsters and banish them, and you then take it. Then yeah, 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 sure. You know, if I only want to, if you have like three monsters on sale, and I only want to banish this particular one, then I can. But if I want to banish all of them, then I can as well. But no, you don't get a choice. You banish all your opponent's monsters, whether you like it or not. That's how many you're gonna ban, and then you're gonna take damage to how many you ban. Whether you ban, and like I said, you can yam yourself with this card. So it's really interesting. It's a lot of uh, risk, a lot of risk. But then there's also a bit of aspect or what to it. And I like how Lunar didn't just say you could just play it like Regeki, where you not only do you have to pay a cost, which means that you know you're gonna be negging, and a random card too. It's not it's not just discard a card. It's a random card. So it's not even like burning the best, where you can just be like, eh, I'm gonna pitch this card. This 
burning abyss for cost. All right, fact. Like nah, random card. So hey, you may be pitching a burning abyss, but you then you may be pitching you know something that's not a burning abyss. You know so. Um, you know, and that is a cost, so, you know, only burning abyss, no shadows, they won't get their, they don't get their effect from cost, you know, and, yeah, so, this is a really interesting card, it was really controversial, and I was going back, I'm going back and forth with it, you know, this card existed, straight up, this card came out, will I play it? With Cleese? No, 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 with Cleese, no. Ah, it's really difficult to determine what deck I would play this in. Definitely a Romages, because they got the life points to spare, I think, shit, you know, they got, they can... Go ahead and play all the light points to do that play with Dry Wind. Why not this card? So, uh, or Arid Winds. I don't remember what the name of that card is, but yeah. But any other deck? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below because I want to know what you guys think. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Uh, so, like I said, let me send me a handful of cards. I'm only going to look at two. So, next week, next Friday, we're going to go ahead and look at another one. But um, tell me what you guys think of this one first before we even talk about the other one next week. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys next Friday with another Luna card. Alright people, thanks for watching.